Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, you just got a brand new record player for Christmas. It's probably a suitcase player or maybe an all-in-one player similar to this. And for some reason, your new records keep skipping on this record player. What the heck is happening? You just wanna play your copy of Beethoven's Fifth or Lady Gaga. Actually, I'm guessing it's probably pop music that's doing this. And the thing is skipping, it's jumping out of the groove. What is going on? I'm gonna explain exactly what's going on, show you a couple of ideas of how to possibly fix the problem, and kind of help you understand how to get around that problem. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. This is Recordology. Okay, time for some pristine analog sound on my brand new record player. But wait a minute, what's going on? It's skipping. The skipping is terrible. How can this be happening? This is a brand new record player. It's a brand new record. For crying out loud, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna tell you a couple of common causes and solutions for this very, very, very rampant issue that folks are dealing with right now with their brand new Christmas presents, their brand new record players. What is going on? So, number one, first and foremost, make sure your records stay clean. It's very important that you invest in some record cleaning spray or some brushes or maybe both. We've covered a plethora of cleaning supplies on this channel want to invest in that for sure. They don't cost a lot, but they will give you a lot more life out of your records. That's the first and foremost thing. Next, when we're talking about a record player, you're gonna hear a stylus and cartridge. What does that mean? So at the bottom of the tone arm, which is the metal piece, there is a device called a cartridge and attached to the cartridge is a needle or a stylus. The stylus rides through the groove on the record and transfers the mechanical information of those grooves into sound that you and I can hear. So it's a precision instrument. It's very, very important that that cartridge and stylus is working. Now, a lot of these entry-level players will come with a stylus that uses a metal cantilever, which is good, but sometimes they'll come with a plastic cantilever, as shown in the picture right here. The plastic ones are not as good, so definitely upgrade, which is not expensive whatsoever. We're talking a couple of bucks. Also, make sure that you get a stylus with a diamond tip. A lot of the stylus that come with these players will either ship with a ruby or sapphire. The sound quality isn't going to be any different, but they're gonna last a lot longer when they're diamond. So those are two things right off the bat we wanna take a look at. So down here, the cartridge, the stylus, we wanna make sure that it's clean. We wanna make sure, and also a stylus brush is a very good investment as well, because gunk and hair and fuzz will build up on that needle. So you're gonna make sure that that's clean. So take a look at those accessories. Now back here is the counterbalance. That is the thing that balances the back of the tone arm so that when the stylus and the cartridge is riding on the record, it's not putting on too much force because there is always force on the record when you're playing the record. Now, when you use the cueing lever to raise or lower the tone arm, as seen here, it uses this little thing here called a tone arm rest. And the tone arm rest lifts up the tone arm. And then when you pull back on the cueing lever, when you're ready to lower it, it actually gently lowers it. But you need to take it and exercise it up and down as I'm showing right now, because when they're brand new, these record players, they can be kind of gunky and the lubrication isn't all the way in there. So sometimes the problem is because the tone arm rest is up too high and doesn't lower out of the way and it kind of barely lets the needle touch but not enough to really get in the grooves and that can cause the skipping. So you want to make sure that you gently raise and lower that a few times to exercise that so that when you lower the stylus, when you lower the cueing lever like I'm doing now, you're gonna let that thing lower completely out of the way. You can also push down on it to make sure that it's completely out of the way. The next option is to add some sort of weight to the cartridge. That is not recommended because these track at about five grams. Now a record was only designed to track between six to nine grams. So it's important that we don't put too much weight on it. And if we add a penny, which is something that people can do, uh, you'll see that done from time to time, uh, that can physically solve the problem because it puts more pressure on that stylus. The problem is a penny is two and a half grams. So if the record or the record player is already tracking at five grams, you add a penny, which brings it to seven and a half grams, you're getting near the threshold, which can be a little bit dangerous. Okay guys, I hope you thought that was enjoyable. Again, I'm sorry there's not a magic bullet to fix this problem. There's a lot of factors that play into it. There's also a trick where you can take a toothpick 
and if there's like a piece of gunk in the grooves because overall research suggests that in addition to the type of technology being used, the technology in these record players, the cleanliness of the record is huge. So if you can't make adjustments to anti-skate or to the tone arm counterbalance, which you can't on these entry level units, and that's how you fix it on the higher end units, uh, then you're gonna have to look at other solutions like what we talked about and also making sure those records are spot on clean. Now. If none of that's working for you, uh, you know, other genres don't really have this problem. So jazz, classical, uh, spoken word. Uh, some people don't even have this problem whatsoever on their record player. Even though they're having the same unit that you may be having, it's kind of some do it, some don't sometimes. So unfortunately, you may need to look at an exchange or possibly upgrading that record player to the next level. However, lots of people are able to use the methods we talked about and get some more life and usage out of their unit. So hopefully that was helpful, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out our ongoing videos. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming up, you guys, so definitely hit subscribe. But for now, happy record hunting. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Recordology. Stay tuned for a new show every Sunday and Wednesday. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter.